Welcome very much to this uh, second annual symposium of MDNet. Um, I'm very impressed with the turnout and with the interest that we've had in registrations and and uh, and so on and so forth. So I'm, I'm very happy to have you all here, and I'm very much looking forward to these two days. Um, and I, I'm uh, Stefan Childer, and I just want to grab a couple of minutes of your time to sort of talk a little bit about the network, talk a little bit about what's coming up uh, over the annual symposium before handing over to our first uh, keynote speaker for, for the day, um, which is what we're really interested in, I guess. So let me try and be quick here, Hello. which requires me knowing how to use the technology. Um, so MDNet um, is a community of MD experts from academia and industry, but also open to people who are not MDE experts, because that's kind of the point of the network, is bringing people who do MDE together with people who don't do MDE. MDE being model-driven engineering, being about building software, not necessarily directly from 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 uh, using standard programming languages, but using models that sort of give us a higher level of abstraction, to allow us to take a step back from, from the weeds, as it were, and of, of programming. Um, and we do this in, in three three ways in the way a little bit. We do this in three ways. We're looking at uh, driving future research, which is all about trying to find new collaborations between people in the MD space and people outside the MD space, finding new challenges, finding supporting these collaborations, for example, through seed corn funds, etc. We do this by trying to provide training material and, and, and training opportunities, uh, we say, to the IT industry, but really to anybody uh, who's interested in MD, um, and generally trying to build the brand around MD and build the community around MD and make sure people know about this through, among other things, through things like the symposia here that we're running here. We're currently funded by the EPCC, which is a UK research funding body. Um, and we're, as I've said before, open to, to anybody who has an interest in MD to join us, join the platform, join these events, join. We, we run lots of sort of online events as well. Um, and really, we live by our community, right? Um, the people who actually run the network are Nuno, who you've all met, who's shyly sitting outside the door there and then sort of trying to make sure that people who arrive late manage to come into the room. Uh, Percy's at the back there is, is uh, the co-director and myself, but, but really the people who do the work in the network are, are the community and they're the people who contribute, who contribute talks, who contribute materials, etc. Uh, and we couldn't do this without you. But they, I think there's quite a lot that we've managed to achieve already. We've got 350 members uh, listed on our community platform. Uh, obviously, you know, as always with these communities of varying levels of activity, but but uh, quite a lot of interest and quite a lot of people who, who have an, over access to our materials. We've got three working groups around these three strands that meet regularly and that try and push forward that work. <laughs> Um, and have members from the community joining in and contributing. Uh, we've done research demonstrations. These are online events that we hold uh, once a month. We've had uh, 26 of these demonstrations already. They're all rec recorded on YouTube as well. Uh, we've got, we do training sessions, which are slightly longer events, which focus on a particular technology and try and sort of almost like a mini tutorial if you want. Uh, again, we've had about 10 of those now and they're all uh, recorded and online available as well. We've uh, this year we started a, se a series on teaching modeling, so which is more focused on people typically in academia who are involved in teaching these kind of things and I'm giving them an opportunity of exchanging experience and learning from each other, which I find quite interesting and engaging myself. And I think we've had eight of those already this year and I hopefully have a few more planned, I think, for next year. Um, recently had a panel discussion around that as well, which, which uh, was quite in interesting, I thought. We've created some learning resources, we've got seven. These are mostly curated learning resources at this point, which is to say we've tried to find good materials and bundle them together around a topic, because that's one of the difficulties often with MDE, that there is material out there, but it's difficult to find the right stuff among all the stuff that's out there. So that's one of the things that we focused on initially. We have seed corn projects uh, that we fund, which are about this, these new research collaborations. We've, we've, we've uh, seven already, but I think six of those are slightly beyond the just approved stage and we'll talk about what they've done tomorrow. So you'll be able to hear from them tomorrow about what they've done. We've looked at publishing success stories. We've, we've sort of got five that on the website. We are just opening a call for a special issue 
of uh, science and computer programming around uh, success stories in MD. Uh, and the call will go out officially very soon. Um, uh, and hopefully we'll be able to wrap that up in the course of the next uh, 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 calendar year. We've we've run thematic workshops which uh, are around bringing two communities together and trying to basically like a little sandpit events. And we've got three of those. We'll have uh, two more next year. Um, and obviously we've already had one annual symposium and this is our second annual symposium. So what's this annual symposium all about? To this time around, well, we've got, you've seen the programme, I think it's exciting. It's also very packed, so we need to try and stay on time as much as possible. And I appreciate that I'm sort of delaying us already. We've got three keynote speakers. We've got two tutorials, both industry but tutorials. Um, we've got a session on MBSE today. We've got a session on MD in finance tomorrow. We've got the Seedcon project talks, and also we've got a number of talks that people have contributed about their own work uh, and about their own perspectives, which we'll have this afternoon. Uh, you should have seen the program on the website here, um, and uh, we'll we'll see, be able to look at the details there. Um, this is what the program looks like. Uh, the rooms are a little bit interesting. It's been surprisingly challenging to find rooms because everybody seems to be wanting to meet in person, you know, both in London and at the university. We have this room. We have the room across the, the, the hall for coffee because they told us if we put the coffee into this room, you won't be able to sit here anymore. And if everybody who's registered for in person actually arrives, there is a we have an overflow room that some people may have to go to 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 see sort of to, to watch the stream of the of the presentations because we might not be able to quite fit everybody in here. But we've got uh, people to to show you around uh, where, where you need to be at, at each point in time. So the most important slide I have is this one. Thank you, Nuno, for, for making sure all of this happens and making sure everything runs smoothly. And thank you also to the two Toms, Tom Godfrey, who's here, and Tom Mead, who you've probably met at the reception downstairs, uh, who are PhD students with me and who are helping out during these two days to make sure everybody knows where they need to be, everybody who's online can, you know, can be heard and, and can contribute to the discussion. Uh, etc. Um, and that brings me to our first keynote. No, not this one. This one um, by uh, Machiel uh, van der Biel. Is that correctly pronounced? Bail. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's name. I always get those wrong. Apologies. Um, okay. Machiel van der Biel, no who's going to talk to us about uh, model-based testing, uh, which is the sort of work that that he's really been doing. For a very long time now, right? I, I, I think if I understand correctly, you've been working on this in your PhD. You then use that work to to spin out a company, and that's what you've been running very successfully all this time since the the mid two thousands. Um, Machil will also run a tutorial on 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 this tomorrow, so so that's when he gets more hands on. But now he's going to talk to us about what uh, what he's been doing in model based testing and some example projects and. Uh, I look forward to hearing more about this. So okay. over to you. 